What's good gamers? Welcome back to another Fizzy MTG video guys. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Grizzly Grave Robbers. These folksy masters of backwood necromancy promise deliverance from death for a price. Grizzly Grave Robbers is a black green graveyard deck that dumps creatures in the yard and reanimates them for a discount. Nothing stays buried for long as you recur cards endlessly. That sounds beautiful. And exactly like something that I like. So we're going to friggin' get into it and see what we got here. Blah, blah, blah. Am. We're going to zoom on in. Are we starting with the land base? I don't know. I don't know how I have these situated. Boop. Blammo. We've got ourselves a <coughs> memorial to folly. Land. Uh, memorial to folly is a battlefield tap. You can tap to add a black. You can pay two and a black. Tap. Sacrifice memorial to folly. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. That sounds absolutely lovely. Okay, we got one of those. So, yeah, I did the. I must have ordered this a little weirdly. That's okay. Crawl foragers. Four and a green for an insect scout with undergrowth. When crawl foragers enters the battlefield, you gain one life for each creature card in your graveyard. Ooh, not bad. Next, we have Ever After for Black Black for Sorcery. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Each of those creatures is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Put Ever After on the bottom of its owner's library. Okay. I like that. Um, Affectionate Enderic for five and a green. These are some big creatures or big cards so far. Uh, whenever... In affectionate Enderic enters the battlefield, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. Ooh, okay, 4-4. Four, four. I like that. Not bad. Ooh, we've got a Lotleth Giant for 6. And a black, you get a Zombie Giant with Undergrowth. Whenever it enters the battlefield, deals 1 damage to each opponent for each creature card in your graveyard. It's also a 6-5, so I can kind of see what this deck wants to do already, and I love that. Winding Way, 1 and a green for Sorcery. Choose Creature or Land. Reveal the top 4 cards of your library. Put all cards of the chosen type revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Interessant. Okay, we got two of those. We've got Evolving Wilds. You can tap, sacrifice Evolving Wilds, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Two of those. So, three lands so far. Necrotic Wound. For a single black mana, you get an instant with undergrowth. Target uh, creature gets plus, sorry, minus X minus X till the end of turn, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. I like that. We got two of those. Oh, yeah, we got Classic Murder. It's just one, a black, and a black for destroy target creature. So good. We've got three of them. We want them all. Molder Hulk. I love me some Molder Hulk. Seven black green. <laughs> For a 6-6 six, six fungus zombie with undergrowth, this spell costs one less to cast for each creature card in your graveyard. When Molder Hulk enters the battlefield, return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Not bad. And we've got three of them. Next, we've got an Acolyte of Affliction. You can probably hear my puppies in there playing and going crazy. <laughs> we've uh, Two, a black and a green for a human cleric. When Acolyte of Affliction enters the battlefield, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you may return a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh, okay. I like being able to do that. Uh, ransack the lab for one and a black, almost a green. <laughs> Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Okay. Could be very useful. Got four of those. Next, we've got a gorging vulture. Beautiful card here. Two and a black for a bird with flying. It's also a two-two. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. You gain one life for each creature card put in your graveyard this way. That's going to be so good in certain scenarios whenever you're getting this deck popping off. Satyr Wayfinder. Uh, one and a green for a, a satyr. When Satyr Wayfinder enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. You can put a land card from among them in your hand and put the rest into your graveyard. So, yes. Very nice. Bond of Revival. Four and a black for a sorcery. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste until your next turn. Not bad. Golgari Brown Scale for one uh, green green. You get a lizard with when it is put into your hand from your graveyard, you gain two life. And you can dredge for two. If you would draw a card instead, you may... Put exactly two cards from the top of your library into your graveyard. If you do return this card from your graveyard to your hand, otherwise draw a card. Not bad. And we got four of those. 
And now we're at the land base, which this can tap for either black or green. It is a Golgari Guild Gate. We got four of those. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight swamps. So eight, eight plus that. That is a total of 16, 20, 23 lands in this one. This one's actually a little lower than the usual. So not bad. Not bad at all, I would say. But yeah. So that's this deck. Uh, again, if you guys are curious, you want to see how this deck performs, stay tuned. Eventually, uh, uh, let me know what decks you might want to see pitted against each other as these videos come out. Uh, we will be going uh, to play these on MTGG at some point, and I think that's going to be super fun. But until that time, let me know if you have a battle deck you'd like me to, to record a video for. If I have it, I will. If I can get it, I will try my best. And, uh, you know, we'll do what we can. But, uh... Until then, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, consider subscribing, all that good junk. Hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one. Later.